You hear it popping? The black machine. They got it going 18 stories down below the ground. They're putting people in one end and out comes what they want. The way they do it, Pop. Each night, they tip the world on its side and everybody loose goes rattling to the bottom. Then they hook them by the heels and they hang them up and cut them open. Only by that time, they got no innards, just some beat up gears and stuff, and all they bleed is rust. You think I'm raving, Papa? Cause it sounds too awful to be true. But my God, there's such a lot of things that's true, even if they never really happen.
sweetheart, you need some help? Murphy is 
waiting to see him. You tell him that this nut house ain't big enough for the both of us. You tell him to meet me outside, man to man, and he's just a big old yellow skunk and better be out of town by sundown. Billy, you tell this upstart McMurphy <laughs> that he can meet me in the main hall at high noon and we will settle this once and for all with libidos of policing. Billy, you tell him that R.P. McMurphy's used to be in top dog in every situation. And that if he's fixing to be a loony, then he's fixing to be the stop down, dad gun, biggest, baddest, meanest one of all. Billy, you tell him, what's that over there? <laughs> Please understand, I do appreciate how you've taken it upon yourself 
to orient with the other patients, but everything in its own time. Mr. McMurphy, you must follow the rules. <laughs> you know, ma'am, seems like everybody, every time somebody explains the rules to me like that, it's right about the time I'm planning on breaking every last one. Yes. All right, here we go. 
Remember, Mr. McMurphy, no gambling for money. Did a two-way system know that this ratchet is a human radio? Oh, is that so? Well, I might just have to pull her plug. All right, Cheswick. There you sit with 14, and I got a pack of smokes says that you fall. No! Uh, group therapy. They do it in time every day. Group meeting. Time for group meeting. Child of 15. 
Boy, she said she was 17 and she was mighty willing. According to a court doctor's examination of that child. Doc, she was so willing, I had to take the padlock in my pants. I present our new admission. <laughs> that actually happened. <laughs> Seems you have no previous history. Uh, any time spent in other institutions? Well, including state and county lockups, I had to uh, say. Mental Oh, no, no doubt. This is my first trip. But I am crazy, I swear. Here, here, and here, there's some things from the doctor down there at the work farm. Let me see. Oh, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Repeated outbreaks of passion that suggest possible diagnosis of psychopath. See, the way he put it, Doc, is he said, I'd like to fight. And I like to fuck. <laughs> how did he say it? How did he say it? He said, he said, I'm overzealous in my sexual relations. Doc, is that really serious? I mean, have you ever been bothered by that? No, Mr. Murphy, I admit I haven't. You know, I can understand that bit about fighting, but who ever heard of a man getting too much poom tang? <laughs> well, I'm interested in this statement. You don't want to overlook the possibility that this man may be paying psychosis to escape the drudgery in the work farm. Um, well, Mr. Murphy, uh, what about that? Doc, do I look like the same man? Perhaps, Doctor, you should explain the protocol of these meetings to Mr. McMurphy. Yes, um, one of the first rules is that the patients remain seated. Oh, sure thing, Doc, sure thing. Uh, you see, we work under the principle of the therapeutic community. Of the what? Therapeutic community. That means that this ward is society of literature. And since society determines who's saying and who isn't, you must make it up. My goal here is to complete the democratic war, governed by the patients, uh, working to restore you to the outside. The important thing is that you're not going to fester inside you. Talk, discuss, confess. If you hear another patient say something of significance, then write it down in the log book for all to see. Uh, you know what this procedure is called? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> squealing. <laughs> Group therapy. Help yourself and your friends and cover the secrets of the subconscious. Bring those old guilts out of the open. What guilts? And you have a real one be here. You know, Doc, I think I'm catching on. I think I understand what you're saying. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, maybe you can help me out with this. I've been, I've been having this recurring dream, see? And when I have this dream, it's like I'm in the dream only, only it's not really me. It's just, it's, it's somebody who looks like me. Yeah, yeah, that's it, Doc. It's somebody who looks like me. And, and, you know, it's my dad. That's oh, it. This is my dad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's my daddy for sure. And and, and when I see him in, in, in the dream, then I know it's I know it's him because he's got this he's got this really big iron bowl going right through his jaw. Your father has an iron bowl through his jaw? Yeah, Doc, that old bastard was a real Frankenstein. Ah, oh, how fascinating. I don't believe I've ever heard of a similar case to that that's come to the hospital. If I may, Doc. Perhaps Mr. McMurphy would learn best by example. According to notes entered in the log book by various patients, Mr. Harding has stated that he is uneasy when walking on the street with his wife because of the manner in which other women stare at her, other men stare at her. He has further said, quote, that she tells up with the reason to stare, and quote,
maybe he's just playing too accurate. And I said, and are they, and, 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 yeah, uh, Ben, he's afraid of her. Not afraid! Oh, okay. Scared? One, 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 one could say intimidate. Same thing. Okay. Mr. Harding has also stated that his wife's ample bosom gives him a feeling of inferiority. So why do you suppose that a guy would marry a broad with such big knockers for in the first place? I don't know. Maybe he's got a mouth fixation. Thinks he has a queen yet. That, that's not so! I, 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 I want a, a, a womanly woman. One, one who would not compete, but might help me to, um, to... She has commented that she finds you less than masculine. Yeah, Harry, maybe it's the way you hold your hands. <laughs> well, I, 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 I thought that, that I, I, I theorized that, 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 that sexually, yeah. at least, Do you think she enjoys being staying with us? 
asking us those questions, probing our subconscious till it hurts. No, she is dedicated. She desires nothing more than to see us walk out of here once more well-adjusted and able to cope with life. So you're wrong, my friend, I assure you. A harmless ratchet is the, the, the kindest, the, the, the sweetest, the, the most benevolent person that I have. There you go. Oh, she oh, oh, oh. Ah! Yeah, yeah. 
Mr. Murphy, what was that little activity? Just a little game we're playing. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't some type of gambling? Oh, heavens no, ma'am. Very well. Behave yourself, Mr. Murphy. I'll see you at dinner. <laughs> this is a sure thing. <laughs> You see that, Papa? They got the place on automatic pilot for the night. It's in the night they do the things to us they want. Things too horrible for day. And if the night ain't long enough, they slow it down. Oh yes, Papa, that's a fact. They got fake time, they can speed up or slow down. I see three months go by once in an hour. I see three days go by like this. Marks and smudges and scuffs all over the place. You know, if your friend sees any of this mess, we're going to cut it off for sure. She'll hit us with a quick round purse. Not if we hit her first. Go ahead. First, we slug her in the gut. Get her down. Then we'll pry open her mouth. We'll stuff the whole damn mess inside. Then we'll ram it to the bottom. With the mouth. Took the 
brush their teeth whenever they got the notion, oh, I, I see what you're getting at, I see what you're getting at. Board policy is to keep us from brushing after every meal. God, don't you see? No, I do, I do, I do. You're saying that people would be brushing their teeth whenever the hell the Spirit moved them. That's right, right. And can you see, can you imagine the chaos? People brushing their teeth at 6.30, 6.25, maybe even 6.15. What the hell would be in our teeth? Come on, Williams, we got your time. Hey, hey, what's in here? That's just so powerful. Well, normally I like to use toothpaste, but... Yeah, I went in wrong. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> now you can't do that out here. You gotta go on the tree like everybody else. Okay. <laughs> hey! What are you gawking at over there, you big useless cow? Let's get to work! Come on! Move! Move! Oh, your parents don't like me. They say I'm too poor. They say I'm not worthy to walk through your door. Our living's my pleasure, my money's my own. And then they don't like me, can leave me alone. <laughs> you can't run around here in a towel. Against work policy? Okay, I'll take it off. No! <laughs> don't! Get in there and get your clothes on this instant. No can do, ma'am. Seems like some thief. Came into my room in the middle of the night and boosted all my clothes. All they left me was my cap. Boosted? Yeah. That outfit was supposed to have been picked up to be laundered. Williams. Mr. Ward has laundry duty. <laughs> Mr. Warren. Yes. Come here. Uh oh. <laughs> Couldn't you see that man had nothing on but a towel? And my cap. Thank you. 
you don't mind. Oh, the big nose needle was a little, little bit of blue that you were letting those little flag. Did you see what color the nurse turned? I hope they're making a grand of that shape. Yeah. I hope we get up there. Oh, oh, you think it'll be part of the group? We don't have all day, gentlemen. Oh, yes, 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 I know. You're very, very excited to get on with the business. Uh, money? 
out 40 different ways, little man. 40 different ways. Name one. You think I'm kidding, don't you? Yeah. What's your, what's your rules with this cake? There. There. That, that box thing. I'll pick it up. I'll throw it right out the window. Say she's my ass right out of here. I, uh, I don't remember anything about psychopaths being able to move mountains. Uh, you saying I can't lift that dinky thing? That dinky thing weighs a quarter ton and we need all the electrical equipment for the station. Yeah, go ahead and give it a try, man. The short circuit all the controls in Bulgaria's home hospital and up in orbit. Purely ridiculous. Yeah. Five bucks, Peckerheads. Five bucks says I can do it. Nobody's gonna convince me I can't do something until I try it. This is more foolhardy than your bet against the big nurse. Five bucks. Here, I'll tell you what I'll do. All your IOEs, all right? All your IOEs. I'll put up the whole shebang. Double or nothing. Now who's in? You're on. I'll take you out. All right? Yeah. Stand back, boys. Oh, oh. Stand back. Stand back. Go we'll find someplace safe for the children. Let, let us retreat to safety, man. We really don't want to get hit with a hit. Here it goes. <laughs> oh, he's, uh, he's stretching. He's stretching. He's just stretching. Yeah. One time ah. routine. Physical fitness. Oh, are you giving up that? No. No, he's just a warm up. Now comes the real effort. Oh, the Olympian effort here. All right, here comes Alexei Vasilov, representing the USSR. He goes in for the clean jerk and lift. He takes his position, squats down, flexes, but the plates are failing to move. This, he might be off for the bronze, but he is not getting the gold. Not this year. No, no. Failing to move the. Oh God, Matt. Matt, are you okay? Get off. Over there, boy. Oh. 
Are you boys ready to pay off on them IOUs? You haven't won yet, friend. Oh, does your chewing gum lose its flavor on that post overnight? When you chew it in the morning, will it be too hard to bite? It will cheat. Hey, Ruth Murphy, you got a visitor? Yeah? Yep. Murphy is 
is imposing his views upon you. Or worse, not encouraging you to go along with this so that you can possibly lay bets on it. It's your own decision. It's what you want. Yeah, I've never seen a baseball game. You're certain. We're all on board. And you, you're absolutely certain that one more vote will satisfy you. I just want to see once and for all which of these birds have got some guts and which of them don't. Very well. All those in favor of changing television viewing time to the afternoon in order to watch the World Series, watch the World Series. Raise your hand. Hey, give up, buddy. Give up. Give up.
you. And how many times I gotta tell you, the basket doesn't chase the ball. <laughs> you gotta stand in one place, just run. There, great big basket. Sunglasses just to take a kiss. 
we explain the therapeutic community. <laughs> Sorry, get up, Chief. Hey, I thought, thought you might have come out here and get some more of this thousand-year-old gum. Hey, hey. Here. Last piece. They took away my canteen privileges. Thank you. No, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Everybody. 
Hey, hey, just take it easy. Yes, yes it does. They don't bust you out right. They work on you. And they install things. Hey, 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 will you calm down? And if you fight, they lock you up someplace and make you sleep. Hey, 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 that's enough. It's enough. Well, yeah. It don't make sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me either. Zero. Yeah, yeah. Canada honkers. See him? See him? Look at him. You can see him fly right across the moon. It's going to be an early, early winter. Good morning, boys. I know it was a late night, but we need to set up the chairs for group meeting, all right? Yes, yes, yes. Please hurry, though.
Abraham decided there has to be some form of punishment for the unspeakable behavior of yesterday. Most of you are here because you don't fit in. You broke the rules of society. Perhaps in your childhood you were allowed to get away with that. But when you broke a rule, you knew it. You waited for the punishment to come. Needed the punishment to come. And it never did. It might have been this leniency on your parents' part that planted the seed of your current mental illness. I, I bring this up simply so that you understand why we need to enforce discipline. Is there any comment? Then I assume you understand and agree. Of course, it's very difficult to enforce discipline in these surroundings. What are we going to do? Have you arrested? Have you institutionalized? No, you're already here. So all we can do is take away privileges. After careful consideration, the staff and I have decided to take away the privileges that allowed, no, I would say encouraged the rebellion of yesterday. First, for 30 days, there will be no viewing of television.
grabbed him in that bear hug and lifted him off the ground. <laughs> Gee, come on, you gotta laugh. You gotta laugh. You gotta laugh the most when it ain't funny. Come on, Chief. Give me a laugh. Come on. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's how you keep your balance. That's how you grow. Look at you grow. Look at them feet of yours. There's big as box cars already. You know, pretty soon they're gonna have to let you out of here. I can just see it now. A big old Chief Crowley just strolling down the boulevard. Men, women, and children reeling back on their heels. Say, who is this big giant that covers 10 feet every time he takes a step and ducks under wires? Comes to our town, just get out of the virgins! <laughs> <coughs> What's so amusing, gentlemen? I don't imagine you'd understand it in the point. We had a meeting, Randall. The staff and I have decided that you would benefit from electroshock therapy. But we won't go through with it, provided. You are willing to admit you were wrong to me. What do you got? Some kind of a paper you want me to sign? Paper? Yeah, you know, so then you can add some stuff to it afterwards. Like how I'm part of a plot to overthrow the government. Or how I think life on your ward is just the sweetest fucking thing inside of Hawaii. We are trying to help you, Randall. Hey, you gonna slip my pants? Huh? You're gonna shave my head? <laughs> Too late! <laughs> Be tough, Chief. I'll go first. If it can't hurt me, it sure as hell can't hurt you. Hey, girls. You come here often? Not 
sit down and, and you can't make me. Okay, okay, I'm going. I'm going. Well, we don't have to listen. Oh, you're going to listen, boys. If I may, doctor. We have just come from the treasurer's office. We had a meeting of great importance concerning patient McMurphy. So where you got him? Up in his third? Mr. McMurphy is in recovery, Mr. Scanlon, and he shall be joining us shortly. Now, back to my memo. According to this memo, Mr. McMurphy has made some considerable gains in the short time that he has been the leader of his own Monte Carlo right here on our board. I'm positive that some of you are aware of your own personal losses, Billy, Mr. Harding. But are you aware that Mr. McMurphy has deposited over $300 of your money into his account? Oh, oh, oh. Wow. You may think that's impressive, but I just want you to understand just what his motivation may be. <laughs> Mr. Pratchett, he made no pretense about what his motive was. <laughs> Said he was going to take this. My God, he done it in his front. Sure did. And you're proud of that. I think that's a shame. Matt, Matt, Matt. Matt, Doug, what are you doing? Sit down, Mr. Hardy. Is, is, is he all right? Matt, say something. He said anything. Is there a response? Look at his eyes.
Mary's son, Jesus, Mary is not. What the hell am I thinking? How are they going to find the open window without a light on it? Turn on the lights. No, oh, it's dangerous. Ratchet, you see the whole world. She's up. sleeping. Get out of my way. Let's just hope she never sleeps. I'll get it. I'll get it. Ah. Time to switch everything. All right. Hey, where's the party? Right in there. Oh, the boy. Give me a key.
what the feeling of a no more rabbits. <laughs> but my friend, if you have taught me anything, it is the fact that mental illness can have an aspect of power. Perhaps the more insane a man is, the more powerful he can become. I'll drink to that. Sure. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha 
throat. He went into the doctor's desk, found a sharp instrument, and cut his own throat. He's in there now, dead, dead because of you, with his throat cut. I hope that you're satisfied, Mr. Gambling in people's lives. Gambling! You were God. You think you're God, Mr. McMurphy? I think you're barely even human. I think you are the sorriest excuse for a man that ever crossed the floors of these wards. Matt, I don't do what this is what she wants. Don't you think I know that?
this way. You make it perfect. Granular pattern. Post operative. Free to the So they've done it. No. No, that's not me. No? Some some dummy they, they break up, I think. You think? Sure, uh factory. I bet he's right. So, you did a pretty good job. You had the broken nose right. They, they can do noses, yeah. Its eyes is open. All, all smoked up, huh? Hmm. Uh -huh. What's the old bitch think we are? What? I wish me Murphy would come back. Hmm. Hey, hey. You remember, you remember the time? If Murphy pinched old Nurse Ratchet on the ass and said he was just trying to stay in touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's not easy to put in the wrong book, but Madam, you wear a B cup or a C cup or any old cup at all. <laughs> <laughs> what about that, that cute little nurse? Yeah, the one with the cross. Remember she dropped the pill down the front of her uniform and when Mick Murphy tried to help her spit it out, she kept yelling, Yeah, don't touch me, don't touch me, I'm a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> Chief? Chief! Chief, let go! Let go! Oh, God. Oh, Christ Jesus. We gotta get you out of here. I, I still have the key to the window.
But if you stay, the big nurse will look at you. She'll ask questions. She'll talk. What are you hoping to do? Feed it. Out there? Flag a ride on the highway. 